Hey guys, so today I'm going to be recreating some more Mr. Who's the Boss editing assets in DaVinci Resolve. So I made a video like this about 10 months ago. Since my previous video, Mr. Who's the Boss has since been expanding their video editing team, and in turn, they're making much harder visual effects. So this should be a real challenge for me. So let's do this. So this is the first thing I'm gonna recreate. It says unboxing. So first I need the text. I think that the font that they use is called Proxima Nova Italic Extra Bold. So I'm gonna download the font and then open DaVinci Resolve and let's do this. All right, so you can see I have the reference on the side and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go to effects tab, drag down a fusion composition. Now what a fusion composition is, it's a type of layer where it's basically just an empty canvas where you can create anything you want. So now you can see I have the reference up top. So first thing I'm gonna do to start off any fusion composition is I'm gonna start off with the background node. I'm gonna go here, add another background node, and I might make this one white. And then I'm just gonna add a rectangle node. So now it's like this. Shrink it down to the size of this. Turn up the corner radius, uncheck solid, and then turn up the border width. So now I have a little bit of a border here. I'm also gonna click on the rectangle node, control C, and then control shift V to create an instance node. And then I'm gonna connect that right to the background layer. De-instance the solid setting and then check solid. So now you can see that this uh, black background fills this part. And then in between these, I'm going to add a fractal noise effect, create another instance of the instance node, plug that right in there. And then I'm gonna change some settings so that it looks just about right. And then you can see over here, it's a tad bit bluish. So I'm gonna add a color correct node in between this. Shift it slightly blue, and you can see it sort of gets darker near the bottom. So I'm going to add another rectangle node and then connect it to this merge node. Turn up the soft edge, turn up the width and the height, and then move the center up like this. So now this looks like it's a bit too tall, so the advantage of having a couple instance nodes is I can easily just change the height of this and then have all of the nodes be affected. So now let's do the text part. So I can see right here, this is actually glowing a little bit. And how I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna play around with the Proto V2 effect. I might put it in here maybe. And you can see it's already kind of looking sort of like it, I guess. Then I just changed around the settings until it looked half decent. Okay. Why is that visible outside? I'm gonna try this, maybe? It just doesn't work at all. Okay, yeah, that's good, that's good. And now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the text. I'm just gonna drag a text plus node down. I'm just gonna type in unboxing Proxima Nova font. And there's a slight outline on the text, and I think it's like sort of dark bluish, or not light blue. That sort of matches the background. And also, I'm gonna turn down the seethe rate a lot. Just about maybe this much, maybe a bit faster. Yeah, okay. That looks good. And now I can just work on the animation. I saw that original video is just moving up and down and all that. Way less interesting animation than it was last year. It takes around 15 frames. Put a keyframe on the center, then go to the beginning, move it to the bottom, and now I can go spline. Make sure to only select until it's selected. Select the transform node, and then I'm gonna click this button called zoom to fit, and then make the animation start fast and end slow. And then the out animation is just gonna be the other way, so I'm gonna have the first keyframe go out, and the second keyframe is gonna go in just like this and uh yeah i've pretty much recreated it that took like 20 minutes see that's how simple things i got you know and then all i gotta do is shrink this down just like this and then i just add an effect camera shake and in the original i'm just trying to make it like so that it slowly moves up and down and you can see how it just slowly moves up and down just like that and yeah uh that's i uh, basically recreated it that's it there is not really much else to it it's pretty simple pretty easy and now I can just render it out. But that smug look on my face after realizing how easy that was simply just not going to last because the next thing I would do was going to be much, much harder. Okay, so this right here is a effect that I've been wanting to recreate for quite a while now. Where it basically shows a timeline of what has been compared between two devices. So, let's try to recreate it. So, you can see I put the reference right below me, and uh, yeah, let's do this. So, how this one's gonna work is basically there's a top part which shows the category, and then there's all these bottom parts which shows all of the categories that are being compared, and then each of these dots are basically placeholders, and there are two icons, either the Samsung or the Apple icon in this case, and whichever wins gets put in the dot, and then everything just expands weirdly. So, yeah, that's what I have to do. So, the first thing that I'm gonna do is add a background node, and I'm gonna break this thing up into different little parts. You can see right here, this is basically just the top part which i could just do first and then the rest is the bottom part which is the comparison part of it so what i'm going to do now is basically the same thing that i did before make it white right here 
I'm gonna add a rectangle to the background. I'm gonna set it to the aspect ratio that it is, and then move this straight to the top. And then I'm just gonna change the corner radius, so now it's all rounded like that. And then I'm gonna make the bottom part, so I'm gonna select this, copy and paste it, and then I'm gonna change this rectangle node here, so now that the width is just smaller and the height is larger, and then boom, just like that. So now I'm gonna copy this merge node, copy paste it, put this one between the two. And I'm gonna set this background node to the gray color, so I'm gonna do pick screen color, that color which is a slightly off black color and because this one's actually in front I'm just gonna move this at the very back and I'm just gonna shrink the rectangle node by a little bit so turn it down the border width just like this by about 0.015 just like that I'm gonna copy this one which is this long part right here and then I'm gonna do the same to this as what I did with this one which is that black part there just like that and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a shadow node in between these ones here and the reason being is because if you look really closely there's actually a shadow in between there just like that and make sure this shadow node has the same settings so now you can see there's a little bit of a shadow in there i'm just gonna start labeling these merge nodes because i'm starting to get confused here oh crap i forgot to do the instance nodes all right i'll be back in a second i'll have all these have all been replaced with instance nodes and then what I'm gonna do is I might actually just uh, separate this part here. I'm just gonna add a background node, make it transparent, and then connect it right to this. So now this is its own separate thing, and then I can put a transform node right behind it. So now I can just expand it. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a text node, set it to the Proxima Nova Extra Bold Italic font, and I'm just gonna type special mode with caps lock turned on. Oh, what? It's not even. It's not even an italic font. What? Oh, come on. I'm gonna reverse italic it then. Hope you're happy. <laughs> that that looks like crap. I don't like that. So now I'm gonna recreate all this other stuff in the middle and I'm gonna add a background node right here. I'm gonna add an ellipse node to the merge node. In this background node, I'm just gonna set the type to vertical gradient. So the top is just gonna be slightly brighter, just like this. And then I'm just gonna add the number in here, just like this, big one in there. And I'm gonna separate all this stuff. So I'm just gonna do this, add another merge node, add a background node here, make that transparent and then connect that in there like so. And then I'm gonna add a transform node and I'm just gonna move all of this stuff down. I might expand the text a little bit more and then move all of this stuff up to where it should be, just like this. And then I'm gonna do the exact same thing 10 more times. So yeah, let's go. My camera did not just die. And the next couple of minutes was basically just me trying to figure out how I should rewire the whole thing so that the animation would work in the first place. I might probably there now there's a one that should not be controlling that why did i decide to make it an instance node no it doesn't work oh uh, okay maybe this will work now why literally why so then after that complete mind f i then began completing the animation so now i'm gonna remake some of the other different parts of it now we have a white outline outside of it and now i gotta make the transition to the s so if you go back to a pretty early point in the video you will hear that i said that halfway through the animation it's gonna transition from the one to the s and you can also see how i made everything shrink down and let's just say this wasn't the easiest thing to do in the world and the bottom is still gonna be black, but the top is gonna be changed to a sort of orangish color, like this. <sighs> What's going on here? It's not, it's not very good. I might make this part its whole separate thing. It's so challenging. Wait a second. I think that's fine. <laughs> it's, it's, it's fine. Come on, you gotta admit. It's very involved. Um, why, why does it move that much? Do you see why I don't do these graphics very often? They're so hard to pull off. After strangling with the software for 30 minutes, I finally got the animation to look half decent. But the real problem was that the node-based system I had set up was not very versatile and I couldn't really change it very easily. So if I wanted to make like the full video with the 17 step thing, I had to change around all the nodes just so that I could move it down one. So uh, yeah, it wasn't very efficient. And now I'm just gonna make the little crown at the bottom and then that'll be it. So I don't even know where to start right here. Um. <laughs> It's a uh, very, very janky looking one. Uh, um, there, I put the little thingies in there. Put the second thingy there. There, now I've made the crown. Wonderful, yay. It's It looks way better than the original. So yeah, I've now recreated the thing. Here's the finished product compared to the original.
so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video if you loved it please subscribe do let me know if you want to see another one please give me more video ideas when it comes to this stuff and i'm gonna see you guys in the next video bye and then move this straight to the top just like what the youtube algorithm should do with my youtube channel